Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. Look who finally decided to show up at my door. This is the Pat McGrath Mothership Mega Celestial Divinity Palette. Certainly is a mouthful. So if you want to see my demo of this look and then also talking about this palette in general, hopefully today's gonna be a quick one, I don't know. Anyways, let's get into it. Hi guys, if you are new here, my name is Morgan. I consider myself to be a product knowledge enthusiast. I just love knowing anything and everything that's currently out on the makeup market and sharing my thoughts with you guys. And today's newest item that we have is from Mama Pat. Now, if you are new to my channel, I own virtually every single eyeshadow palette that she's come out with. So I do consider to myself to be very well versed in her formula, which is why in this video, I only just do one look. I felt the shadows, <laughs> I know what I have to say. Shipping took a really long time with this one. And I know I'm not the only one. So many of you guys have messaged me letting me know that you also experienced very, very slow shipping. Normally, I am very blessed with my releases and shipping from Pat because I do live relatively close to her distribution factory, but for whatever reason, this guy almost took a full two weeks to get to me. First world problems though, of course. So let's go over this palette, my thoughts. I do have the original two Star Wars palettes that these colors are in as well. So we'll get into that in a second. So if you don't know, this palette palette is currently available both on the Pat McGrath and Sephora website so I will link those down below for you guys. This is a part of her holiday collection but this launched two weeks ago as the singular item from the holiday collection. I was pretty bummed when I went to order this because I thought I was ordering the whole collection. I mean I wasn't actually going to order the whole collection but I thought the whole collection would be available but this was the only item released which I was like okay we'll break my money up. I guess that's fine but actually this Friday which should be tomorrow the whole collection for holiday is releasing on the Pat McGrath website. So I'm gonna put the link down below for you to join the waitlist. So you can get that 9 a.m. early bird email. And of course, if you shop through that link, it will be affiliated. So I do receive a small commission from that. So don't feel obligated to do so, but also like I'm gonna buy a lot of items from the collection. So help a girl out. <laughs> okay. This baby is $78. And what makes this palette very unique for this brand is that it is the first of its kind as far as shape, number of colors, all of that. So this is just a regular cardboard palette, but she's never had a cardboard palette quite like this before. So this is probably like the more cheap of the packaging feeling, but of course I think the packaging is gorgeous. I love the pink gold details. I think it's stunning Pat McGrath. And this is an 18 pan shade palette, which I thought was gonna be like $200 if I'm being honest. If we're running the same prices that Pat McGrath normally runs, I thought this was gonna be an arm and a leg. And I'm I'm very happy to see that it is $78, which, you know, I know that's still very expensive to spend on an eyeshadow palette, but just given what she has previously released compared to her normal prices, this is actually a great value, and I was very surprised. I like that the packaging feels a little bit more cheap so that you are paying for the shadows and not necessarily the packaging, where with her regular motherships, the 10 pound palettes, where the packaging weighs like 10 pounds and it's just a fully luxe palette, that's $125 you're paying for the package for this, you're paying for the product, which I really enjoy. And I don't mind a nice slim palette like this. And what is also really great about this packaging is it really allows you to bring a large array of Pat McGrath shadows with you for travel. Because even with the six panners, these are still a little bit clunky. I like how you can get 18 shades of Pat McGrath in a nice, slender, lightweight packaging. So I'm very happy that she added this type of component to her line. Also, something slightly different than what she's done before. She also has the names on a sticker pasted on the back, which I personally prefer. I'm not big on shadow names, really. I never say them, but worth noting, when you open up the palette, you get a very nice large mirror. This makes it even better to travel with this palette because you have a great size mirror. And it has these little ribbons to hold the palette up. I'm personally not too big of a fan of that. I feel like it cheapens the feel of the palette and I find the ribbons to be annoying, but of course that's just a personal thing and me getting very picky. As far as the details of this palette goes, it has a 12 month shelf life and it is made in USA of US and imported 
imported ingredients. The last palette said that as well, and I was under the impression that all of her palettes are made in the USA and Italy, but I actually did look back at my Star Wars palettes, and these ones also are made in USA of US and imported ingredients, so this isn't as new of a thing for her brand as I thought it was. I was gonna be kind of mad if this was fully just made in the USA and this one was USA and imported ingredients because I feel like that would mean that the quality of this might be compromised. Same deal here. So as you saw, you are getting 18 shades. Again, a concept Pat McGrath has never done before. So this has a mixture of glitter, shimmer, matte, and iridescent shadows. Just something to keep in mind, you are only getting three matte shadows, like true flat matte shadows. The rest I would say is definitely an even mix of regular shimmers, some shimmers containing a little bit more glitteriness, some more iridescent and duochrome. What you are not getting though is a Blitz Astro formula, which is her really glittery special shade. I think those really shoot up the prices of her palettes, which is why she sticks to those in only her mothership full-size palettes. Of course, it always is disappointing to me whenever a palette doesn't have those because that's my favorite formula in the world, but you still get really nice glittery multi-dimensional shadows in this palette as well. The lack of mattes might be a turnoff to the consumer because obviously as consumers, we're trained that you need to have mattes with shimmers, but with Pat McGrath's formula, you really don't need to use shimmers. Now she's not an everyday wearable brand. She doesn't always use mattes. And if you want a really full glam glittery look, you don't necessarily need to use all mattes. But I just think from a consumer standpoint, I would have liked to have seen more mattes in this palette. I don't know if anybody else has mentioned this, but I haven't watched any reviews yet. A palette that would pair beautifully with the Pat McGrath palette and contains mattes that are very complimentary is actually the ABH Jackie Ina palette. So this has a very similar color story as far as tones goes. We have some purples, some red tones, some green tones, and this Jackie Ina palette has the perfect mattes to really complement the shimmers in the Pat McGrath shade. So if you are feeling a little bit wary about the amount of shimmers in the Pat McGrath palette. If you have the Jackie Ina palette, pull that out. These two are a power duo for sure. If you are not aware, I'm sorry, this palette has a lot of details that I want to mention. These are 18 shades, but 12 have already been done before. So last year during the holidays or around this that time, Pat McGrath had a Star Wars collection. It was an extremely limited edition collection that very few people honestly got a hold of. And I will say a lot of my subscribers, a lot of you guys in my community got a hold of it because we are literally crazy Pat McGrath addicts. But the average person who has a life and doesn't chase Pat McGrath releases <laughs> didn't get a hold of this. It was sold out in minutes. So how I was able to justify purchasing the palette is there was only one set of these between my mom and I who are both luxury makeup collectors. Now these guys are going to stay in my mother's collection. These are now hers. They'll have that home. Home. and so I will just keep this 18 pan palette so I have all of the shades. I would say though the majority of people were not able to get their hands on the Star Wars collection so if you were not this is the perfect opportunity to get both of those palettes and then some. So this one right here these first six shades are going to be the Dark Galaxy palette and then the last six shades in the palette over here are the Galactic Gold palette both from the Star Wars collection. So the middle six shades are the new shades to the Pat McGrath line. So if you have these, honestly, I wouldn't recommend picking up this palette because you're paying $80 for only six new shades. But the Pat McGrath Stan in me is not going to judge you if you get it. If you want it, go ahead and get it. But uh, financially, I would say probably don't. But of course, if you missed out and you were sad about missing out on these, highly recommend picking this guy up, especially because I really loved these Star Wars palettes a lot. I didn't talk about them too much on my channel because nobody owned them and nobody could get a hold of them. But in particular, the Dark Galaxy palette is one of my favorite all-time Pat McGrath palettes. I need to do an updated rankings, but I absolutely love the purple tones in this palette and it's ended up being one of my absolute favorites. So the fact that it is in here, the first six shades alone, I am in love with. So let's take a look at the middle six shades right here. So you have two mattes in the new middle six shades and then you have a cool duochrome, a green shade, a nice fuchsia shade, and then a light 
kind of golden shade, a little bit more champagne-y. But every single shadow in here swatched beautifully and the full Pat McGrath formula that we all know and love. I will say from swatching, I do not believe that there is a dud in this palette. Like I said, I haven't applied all 18 shades to my eyes in this specific palette. I've applied six to my eyes. Every single one seemed to be the usual Pat McGrath quality that I love so much. And the remaining 12 also felt super silky, creamy, delicious. Ugh, loved it. As far as I can tell, there's not a dud in here. For those curious who do have the Star Wars palettes or just wanted to know in general, I did look at the ingredients between the new palette and the old ones and the ingredients did seem to line up. I didn't go super heavy deep diving but the ingredients looked to be the same and I swatched everything side by side. Everything felt virtually the same. Now remember these are 12 months older just about than these colors but everything felt the same. The colors were exact so I do think that the formula and everything is the same in this palette for the Star Wars so I don't think you're getting nicked with quality there. As far as the color story goes I really love this color story but this is not for the neutral makeup wearers, not for the people who like browns. This is for very glam girls especially for nights out. I would say of course if you love wearing colors like these I am not gonna stop you but yeah you definitely get some deeper tones in here and nothing really runs very neutral I'm sure you can pull a neutral look together with using a couple shades but for the most part this isn't for the everyday girl absolutely not this is an artistry palette this is a Pat McGrath palette where it's not about everyday wearable makeup and I love that I love that this palette really just goes out there with the colors without going like fully rainbow neon. They're still toned down but obviously not very natural. And like I said if the colors make you nervous mix it with the Jackie Ina and it's gonna be amazing. With that being said I'm gonna get into the tutorial portion of this review and I'm just going to do the new six shades all over my eyes. If you do want a closer look at the other 12 shades I will put my original review of the two Star Wars palettes so you can actually get a look with each section of the new palette because I created one look for each of these palettes and then of course for the middle six here and when you create looks with this palette you don't need to stick to the three different palettes these are now a unit you can mix and match however you would like you do technically have three tutorials so make sure you check that video out so let's get into this look, which I am obsessed with, by the way. So my eyelid is already primed with some concealer today, as I usually do with my Pat McGrath palettes. For the tutorial, we are only sticking into the middle six shades, since I have no experience with these shades. And I'm going to start off with this shade right here. I'm using a Wayne Goss number four to apply this gorgeous dusty rose shade. And this is going on the inner part of my crease. And then I'm also going to dust off a little bit on the inner part of my lower lash line as well. With a rougher number 14 brush, I'm taking the matte shade up here. This shade has crazy pigmentation, so be very careful with it at first. So you'll see I laid it down and then I'm building the depth up. And I'm going to go back into this shade after I apply the shimmer. So be prepared to continue building this shade throughout the look. Make sure you blend that out. Next, we're going in with this gorgeous green, blue, gold duochrome shade. It's a weird shade. It has so many colors. It also has some purple in there. But I'm applying this to the outer half of my eyelid right over that matte shade. And next, we're going into the green shade. Playing with all six of these colors, you guys. I'm so proud of myself. With her shimmers, always, always, always use a finger because that's how you get the Pat McGrath look. Um, while I'm at it, I told you we were going back into that deep matte shade. So we're gonna blend this into the shimmer now. And we're using this to really glamify and deepen that look. Gonna take this shade and use it as my inner corner color. Next, I'm taking this fuchsia shade and I'm applying it along my lower lash line and then I'm going to go in with the matte in the outer corner. So this shade is so gorgeous. And a lot of times, when you feel the shadow, I think it can be a little bit worrisome as to whether or not it's going to show up when you apply it with such a small brush because sometimes colors just don't pick up pigmentation on a small brush like this. But of course, Pat did it so it works beautifully. And then I'm taking a bit more of the deep deepening matte shade and just deepening out here. 
and that's the look with all six of the new shades so i'm gonna finish liner and lashes and of course you'll see everything all pulled together so i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial i really really love the look overall if you can't tell i really do love this palette i feel like the quality is definitely a 10 out of 10. the mattes are super pigmented they're very very blendable all of the shimmers again on par my one tip though is i don't really like the way her shimmers apply with a brush but when you apply them to the eye they're just so beautiful that it makes it okay and you are getting so much dimension this palette is very very unique and i feel really inspired by this palette and it's perfect for this time of year and the holidays as well this one will probably be in my winter recommendations for you guys as far as winter palettes go because this is stunning so definitely gets my stamp of approval if you are interested in it it's very very nice that is that so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you found it helpful if you aren't subscribed to my channel already i would absolutely love it if you would consider it taking the time to do so and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Have a good one.